welcome to itsp technologies so now my name is vivek so this is our channel guys so here you can in the playlist you can find more videos related to technologies so now don't waste our time so now today's topic is docker part so mainly docker is used for the containerization like shifting our application one a machine to another machine so we will use the docker so lots of uh, things i need to discuss with you related to docker so now first thing is what is the docker and why we use docker okay so what is the docker docker is a platform for the developing shipping and running application in container okay so now i think you by the definition you can understand by the definition you are able to understand what is the docker docker is developing shipping and uh, running application in the container so docker provides one container right like this okay and this is the container machine yet yeah, lots of container is there you can see you can assume this is the docker right you can assume in the ship ship is the docker and inside the docker we have a container so now this docker shipping this container one place to another place so same thing is happening in this docker this is the docker official image so now the so inside the container your application is there suppose the app one is there so app one is running on the container one okay so now shipping and you can ship you can push this uh image like container running image inside the registry registry so anyone can pull it and run in the systems so this is that total so now what is that uh, docker is needed docker is needed like if you are using docker desktop we have two flavors but in this series i will take uh, four or five sessions like what is that agenda we need add one page okay and here in this series we will cover how many things like uh, this is the introduction intro uh, second is we covered uh, deploy maven simple app simple app in docker third we deploy uh, deploy rest api maybe sequence will uh, different but it's this topic we covered in the series rest api then web app this app spring boot okay. spring boot right and with layered architecture with the layered architecture i will follow like spring boot also web app with using theme leap <coughs> number five part is spring boot with database database using compose files compose docker compose docker compose okay so now these five things we will learn in this <clears throat> class in this series docker series so now today is the introduction part about the docker so now come back in the other session so now i think you understood i think you got this point what i'm trying to say the docker is a simple developing uh, application shipping and running inside the container by using docker docker provides the one virtual machine right inside the like we are virtualization we are performing mainly we if you have the multiple developers right the qa developers is there here you can assume mm -hmm. add the space okay suppose 
we have one developer dev one okay here we have a tester tester right here we have prod, prod means production production okay apne is application where we right now we have uh, two things to install like we have a java application so java is there java should present in this system okay and maven right and uh, this thing is required for the java application some map and get and all these things same configuration required here same configuration is required here okay in the simple things when we without using docker if we use docker then docker will provide simple thing simple thing what is that uh, uh, simple it's providing one virtualization instead of hypervisor instead of hypervisor it's providing docker engine docker engine is one type of uh, linux is okay one type of field linux inside the linux like this is that uh, os is inside the docker engine this is the docker engine inside the docker engine your application is running inside the containers okay like that inside the last slide we have this slide you can see a dockerization application if you dockerize your application like that like we have a host operating system right infrastructure we required infrastructure nothing but just suppose in my system i have a, like ram hardware is required it means infrastructure is required and operating system host operating system is required if you are running docker desktop so it means this is a, my uh, this windows is the op host operating system if we are using linux linux okay so you can say the linux is the host machine inside this we run docker okay inside this in top of this we run docker and docker having app one app two this is the container one container c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 c6 like that this is the container so this is the isolated it's not if you this remove it will not affect on this only this container will remove so like that if we are using hypervisor it will uh here it, it will not taking your uh, ram and all these things it will uh preparing the separate thing okay but here if you are virtualize that uh, go, uh, host machine every machine you should install the one machine and that machine you can run your like app like this is the linux right this is the another linux this is another host machine operating system this is another operating system so that we are uh, doing here so in the uh, uh, in our uh, windows operating system i want to run inside the linux that so we need install the virtual box and install ubuntu ubuntu linux ubuntu is the one flavor of, uh, flavor of the linux so install that then it will take your memory and inside this you can run your application but uh, inside the docker this is not required so just install a docker in your system then automatically this this will do uh, docker will do all these things just your uh, build your uh, image and uh, run your image inside the docker container okay so this is that so now i think you understood <clears throat> but i'm trying to say developing and shipping the running application container container are lightweight okay container are lightweight i have shown you know <clears throat> container are lightweight like this lightweight container but if you are uh, comparing with this container to with this machine it's too much heavy so that's why container is lightweight this is heavy so now and portable <clears throat> portable also i will show you and isolated environment that package the application with the dependencies <clears throat> package that application dependencies okay ensuring the different consistency of different environments 
okay so now some key points internalization isolation portability efficiency we have and devops integration we have so now first point we are going to discuss about the containerization so now containerization is <clears throat> what is that uh, docker allow developers to package an application and its dependency into a container what is that meaning guys what is that meaning so now suppose <clears throat> uh allow to develop this is one developer right this is one developer to package an application this is one application we have okay app package the application its dependency in a container like package that application like package this application and put inside that container right this application put inside the container this is the c1 container this thing okay now the trap like all the jars and all the things that come in. It means Docker allowed to develop a package and application its dependencies into a containers. Okay. This image <clears throat> then we run on any Docker enabled system. This image, if you run this image, build this image, uh, you can run anywhere inside the Docker ecosystem. So if you having the Docker in your system, just take that image from the Reggie Docker Hub registry, then you can easily run it. Okay, so don't don't require to do anything in your system. It's the same behavior. Thing. Suppose the example I am giving here, you can understand. Suppose you have a two microservices, right? Developing using Spring Boot right user service and produce product service each with its own functionality right we have uh, two microservices like right now we have uh, are developing app one here we have two microservices understand try to understand guys uh, the conduct uh, to containerize this microservice with docker but write this separately you need to create one docker files so now we created two microservices first is the user service second is the docker uh, product service right each microservice we should develop one uh, docker file docker file then that docker file we can uh, build it and create one docker image each service having docker images and you can deploy inside the docker container and we can easily run so this is mean containerization, like building your, your containerization is simply you can understood like uh, uh, application I suppose we have application right we have application lots of dependencies are there okay jars is there so we that dependency we means mention inside that uh, docker file then docker file once you build your docker file then uh, instruction build in instruction will execute then that instruction will uh, download all the dependencies required for your applications next uh, upcoming videos we will see also right now you can try to understand containerization is like we have a multiple different different th things like jars okay dependencies are there libraries are there okay Dependency inside this, like if you try to run Java application, so what is the dependency? First, we need a, what is the dependency in the containers? First, we need to Java in your system. So inside the Docker file, first we need to start the image. What that that is a Docker a, a Java. So it means that run Java will run, right? okay so that after that java another instruction is there then run and build that image and that image you can container uh, run that image inside the container okay in the practical i will show you now next is isolation isolation as you can see here I have told you this application A and B, C, D, 
और बोथ ईच अदर इज आइसोलेटेड मतलब इनके बीच में कोई एक दूसरे का लिंक नहीं अगर एक डिस्ट्रॉय हो जाएगा ना कंटेनर तो इससे दूसरे पर कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा जैसे अपने पास दो माइक्रो सर्विसेज थी ठीक है अपने पास दो माइक्रो सर्विसेज मैंने एग्जांपल दिया था ना वहां पे क्या था कंटेनराइजेशन पे ठीक है हमने कंटेनराइज कर दी एक कंटेनर में चला दी हमने यूजर सर्विस यूजर सर्विस ठीक है दूसरे कंटेनर में हमने चला दी प्रोडक्ट सर्विस प्रोडक्ट सर्विस ठीक है सो दिस इज मीनिंग ऑफ आइसोलेशन आइसोलेशन मीन सेपरेशन नो देखिए ईच कंटेनर रन एज एन आइसोलेटेड प्रोसेस ओके प्रोवाइडिंग एंड सेंड बॉक्स इन्वायरमेंट फॉर दट अप्लीकेशन दिस आइसोलेशन इंश्योर दैट दट अप्लीकेशन डज नॉट इंटरफेयर विद अदर अप्लीकेशन रनिंग ऑन द सेम सिस्टम सी देखो दो चार रन हो रहा है ना ये भी रन हो रहा है 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 ये रन हो रहा है रन हो रहा है ये एक दूसरे को इंटरफेयर नहीं करेंगे एक दूसरे से इंटरफेयर नहीं करेंगे कौन सा चल रहा कौन सा नहीं चल रहा जिस चल रहा है ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है फेल हो गया तो फेल होगा वो कंटेनर डाउन ठीक है प्रोवाइड इन सेंड बुक ना एग्जाम्पल ईच माइक्रो सर्विस रन इट्स ओन डॉकर कंटेनर ठीक है इट्स ओन डॉकर कंटेनर रन होती है जैसे एक कंटेनर ये है ठीक है और एक कंटेनर ये है एक कंटेनर ये ठीक एम वन माइक्रो सर्विस एम टू माइक्रो सर्विस एम थ्री माइक्रो सर्विस ठीक है और किस पर रन होती है डॉकर पर टॉप ऑफ द डॉकर डॉकर ठीक है और डॉकर किस पर रन होता है होस्ट मशीन पर जो कुछ भी तुम्हारी होस्ट मशीन है होस्ट मशीन और होस्ट मशीन के लिए इंस्ट्रक्चर चाहिए स्ट्रक्चर तो लाइन एक्स यूज करेंगे ना और लाइन एक्स के लिए होस्ट मशीन क्या हो जाएगा भाई क्या हो जाएगा होस्ट मशीन लाइन एक्स हो जाएगा ए डब्ल्यू इंस्ट्रक्चर क्या हो जाएगा ए डब्ल्यू एस जो प्रोवाइड करेगा रैम एम बट एवर है ना उस पर इंस्टॉल कर देंगे हम डॉकर टॉकर पे चला देंगे और नहीं माइक्रो सर्विसेज लाइक एम टू एम थ्री एम फोर एनी माइक्रो सर्विसेज सो दिस इज द आइसोलेशन मीन्स आइसोलेशन मीन्स दिस इज नॉट इंट्रैक्टिंग टू ईच एर Like they are not disturbing to one service to another, one container to another container. This is very simple. The container, for example, the user service container only contain the code and dependency required for the user service. Okay, and it does not interfere with the product service container or or any other running on the same host. Let's go. So much we have covered. it's clear to you so now next is the portability portability important understood docker container is highly portable highly portable and can run on any system that support the docker portable means java is also portability yes. write one run anywhere write once run anywhere java is rule thumb rule so here same thing is docker container is highly portable and and can run on any system that supports docker like run linux you should install docker that's it run windows install docker that's it uh, os uh, like uh, mac os the uh, apple system is their mac os install docker and do whatever you want okay So regardless, underlying the infrastructure, this is make it easy to deploy application across the different environments such as the testing, developing, and production. Okay, once the containerized the Docker image example, once the example you can see, once the containerized the Docker image for the microservices can be easily deployed to any environment that support Docker such as development, testing, and production. यही स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट समझा रहा था किसी भी इन्वायरमेंट में चलाओ डिजेंट मैटर जस्ट चेंज योर डॉकर इमेज दट इट ओके आई विल शो यू ना इफिशियंसी ना नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज इफिशियंसी डॉकर डॉकर 
are lightweight compared to traditional virtual machine like they are share the host system kernel this is leads a faster startup time and efficient resource utilization what is the host system kernel and faster startup time and efficient docker container are lightweight and share the host systems resource host systems resource it will share where you're hosting efficiency this is not separating right this is just sharing that uh, uh, okay. This is your host. Okay. Here docker. Here insert Azure. Here insert Azure. Here container. Okay. This is the container. This is the product Azure. Okay. This is host machine. This is docker. Okay. What do you say? Docker says that this means multiple container host without the significant overhead. Okay, the leader of that startup is the initiative. They share here again with the share the host system kernel. Yeah, na, ye iska jo Docker hoga na, wo ye share karega ye. Na ki isko separate kar dega. Thik hai. Virtualization में क्या होता है ना हम पहले इसको बता देते हैं but यहाँ पे क्या होता है ये बताएगा नहीं उसको जितनी उसको जरूरत होगी वो use कर लेगा after that you can delete all these things and they will freeze that uh, like uh, your uh, resources infrastructure like hardware ram hard disk whatever they are using but if you are using virtual box and first you just uh, divide that uh, separate that virtual machines running a different different obligations right different different of like production mein, uh, utilization mein alag run karo na dikkat ho jayegi samajh gaye so he has efficiency now devops integration this is the important you can easily understood docker is the com commonly commonly integrated into ci cd what is that meaning ci cd continuous integration continuous delivery pipelines this is used for the devops pipelines when you're developing devops pipelines like once developer what is the developer uh, do developer is doing just building a image right and push to that uh, docker hub okay then pull from that and do some testing whatever you can touch that building a function testing and deploying the spring boot micros for example you can uh, docker to create a constant building environment for your microservices run automate tested within docker within docker container and deploy the microservice as a docker container to a production server or container orchestration platform with the minimal efforts with just developing one image developing docker file and build that docker file and push to inside the containers container will deploy easily it's minimal effort they will not take too much okay so now this is that uh, architecture docker architecture here again this i get from mm, docker official website guys so now here when we hit docker run what is that meaning docker run it will run that image which you want to run right docker build first we create one docker image like first we create docker file then perform the docker build then when the docker build is performed i come, come to that here docker images section then if you have a java application then it will store inside this image section like that python we have inside this we can install java and after this installed and run then if you want to run this just docker run perform the docker run if it is there then it will run okay and particular pass that image name or like id and containerize this application mm -hmm. okay if registry is the registry means if you uh, push that uh, pull if you perform the pull operations then it will get from the registry also. 
like docker pull so yet yeah, if you understand it's good but i am just explaining easily so jaisa ye samjho ye apne paas docker file hai fir hum kya karte hain docker file ko karte hain docker build theek docker build build ठीक है बिल्ड करने के बाद क्या बनती है अपनी डॉकर इमेज ये इमेज है ठीक ये क्या है फाइल है डॉकर फाइल ठीक इसके बाद जब हम डॉकर इमेज के ना डॉकर रजिस्ट्री ये रन करेगा रन हो जाएगा डॉकर कंटेनर पे अगर हम डॉकर कंटेनर डॉकर कंटेनर कंटेनर ठीक है और इसको ही हम पुश कर देंगे यहाँ पे डॉकर पुश रजिस्ट्री इमेज बनी और इमेज को हमने पुश कर दिया यहाँ पे पी यू एस एच पुश यहाँ पे मैंने कर दिया डॉकर रन देन इट विल दिस व्हेन यू परफॉर्म दिस इज द आर्किटेक्चर गाइस अंडरस्टैंड वी हैव द डॉकर फाइल then build this docker file right and getting one image and image can using run then run in the docker container your application and if you post from docker push then it will push into the docker registry some login is happen but this is the architecture same thing is happening here suppose if you want to pull this image just perform that pull operation then it will come your system first it will search in your uh, Premises the like Docker host, Docker host machine. If it is there, then pull from here. But if it's not there, then it will check into your registry and come back to you, like that. So this is the architecture, guys. If anything is there. So this is today's session. Next session we are going to learn some commands related to Docker. Totally practical session. so if you are watching this video it's okay watch the next video also like three to four videos i will upload in the dockers and after that i will one plan to one session plan for the revision purpose so thank you we will meet next videos